Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon and thank you for watching this clip on rounding. Here we're dealing with two problems. We have a number to run nearest thousand and to the nearest ten thousand. So the thing to do when you're rounding is this, write the number down. Okay, first of all, you gotta find out where the nearest thousand place is. So this is a singles, tenth, hundreds. So here is where we need round, okay, thousands. Place. Okay, so once we determine the place here, then what you do is you kinda look behind. There's supposed to be an eyeball. If the number behind you is bigger than five, five or above, the number ahead of you have to go up. Thus becomes 35. And then you replace everything else to be 1,000. And the way you read it is 35,000. Thus, we rounded this number to the nearest thousands place. Okay, so that's the part one. Now, part two, we were asked to round the same number, this time, to the nearest 10 thousands. All right, so let's take a look. One, two, this is the hundreds, thousands, this is the ten thousands. Okay, so let's circle this number. Once you determine the place, everything else behind it, it becomes insignificant. Ugh, my tongue is tight. So once again, we're going to have to look behind the number. Here's the eyeball again. Okay. The number behind it, it's lower than four, or it's lower than five, so therefore everything else is reduced. Okay, so it's basically 30,000 because this number does not change. Doesn't change. Because, because, BZ here, because the four is less than five. Okay, so if it's a five or above, we increase the bucket ahead of it. Okay, so first the step is you identify the bucket you need to keep track of, and then you look immediately right behind it to see if you need to increase the bucket or not. In our case here, you do not need to increase the bucket. So to the nearest 10,000 place, we have 30,000. Okay, so once again, let's take a quick review. Step one. Identify the significant digit. Okay, so depend on which digit they're asking. Is so the nearest thousands? Then that's this one. I usually have my student place an error or something. This is the one you look. Step two, you look behind to see if go up or on change. Okay, so in our case here, the space behind it, it needs gets this place go up, then we write 35. So you notice this is the only number we're paying attention to. Okay, on the second case here, on the 10,000 place, we we'll identify the bucket here, and then look behind it, we don't need to change it, and then we replace everything else with all the zeros. All right, that's how we're rounding it. It's not too hard um, if you follow those two steps. Number one, you added the significant digit. Number two, you just look behind the number you ID'd and see if you need to go up or unchange it. All right, I hope that helps. That's how we handle roundings. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if it's been helpful. Till next time, have a confident day.